Blessed is our God, always now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, O God, glory to you. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, always in Amen. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ Himself, our King and our God. Your just cause, O Lord, attend to my cry, give ear to my prayer from the spree of deceit. From you let my vindication come, let your eyes see the right. If you try my heart, if you visit me my night, if you test me, you will find no wickedness in me. My mouth does not transgress. As for what others do, by the word of your lips, I have avoided the ways of the violent. My steps have held fast to your paths, my feet have not slipped. I call upon you, for you will answer me, O God. Incline your ear to me, hear my words. Wondrously show your steadfast love, O Savior, of those who seek refuge from their adversaries at your right hand. Guard me as the apple of your eye. Hide me in the shadow of your wings. From the wicked who despoil me, my deadly enemies who surround me, they close their hearts to pity. With their mouths they speak arrogantly. They track me down, they surround me. They set their eyes to cast me to the ground. They are like a lion eager to tear, like a young lion lurking in ambush. Rise up, O Lord, confront them, overthrow them. By your sword, deliver my life from the wicked, from mortals. By your hand, O Lord, from mortals whose portion in, the, in life is in this world. May their bellies be filled with what you have stored up for them. May their children have more than enough. May they leave something over to their little ones. As for me, I shall behold your face in righteousness. When I awake, I shall be satisfied, beholding your likeness. <coughs> to you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in you I trust. Do not let me be put to shame. Do not let my enemies exult over me. Do not let those who wait for you be put to shame. Let them be ashamed who are wantonly treacherous. Make me... Out of my salvation, for you I wait long. Of your mercy, O Lord, and of your steadfast love, for they have been from old. Do not remember the sins of my youth or my transgressions. According to your steadfast love, remember me for your goodness sake, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord, therefore he instructs sinners in the way. He leads the humble in what is right and teaches the humble his way. All the paths of the Lord are steadfast, love and faithfulness. For those who keep his covenant and his decrees, for your name's sake, O Lord, pardon my guilt, for it is great. Who are they that fear the Lord? He will teach them the way they should choose. They will abide in prosperity, and their children shall possess the land. The friendship of the Lord is for those who fear him, and he makes his covenant known to them. My eyes are ever toward the Lord, for he will pluck my feet out of the net. Turn to me and be gracious to me, for I am lonely and afflicted. Relieve the troubles of my heart and bring me out of my distress. Consider my affliction and my trouble and forgive all my sins. Consider how many are my foes and with what violent hatred they hate me. O oh, guard my life and deliver me. Do not let me be put to shame, for I take refuge in you. 
May integrity and uprightness preserve me, for I wait for you. Redeem Israel, O God, out of all its troubles. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to your steadfast love. According to your abundant mercy, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgression and my sin is ever before me. Against you, you only have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight, so that you are justified in your sentence and blameless when you pass judgment. Indeed, I was born guilty, a sinner, when my mother conceived me. You desire truth in the inward being. Therefore, teach me wisdom in my secret heart. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be made whiter than snow. Make me hear joy and gladness. Let the bones that you have crushed rejoice. Hide your face away from my sins, and blot out mine iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and put a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and sustain me with a willing spirit. Then I shall teach transgressors your ways, and sinners shall return to you. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing aloud of your deliverance. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For you have no delight in sacrifice. If I were to give a burnt offering, you would not be pleased. The sacrifice acceptable to God is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart, O God, you will not despise. Do good to Zion in your good pleasure. Rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will delight in right sacrifices, in burnt offerings and whole burnt offerings. Then bulls will be offered on your altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Let the heavens rejoice, let the earth be glad, for the Lord has shown strength with his arm. He has trampled down death by death. He has become the firstborn of the dead. He has delivered us from the depths of hell and has granted to the world great mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Theotokos, you are the true vine that has put forth the fruit of life. We pray, O Lady, intercede together with the apostles and all the saints, that mercy may be granted to our souls. Blessed be the Lord God, blessed be the Lord from day to day, and may God, the God of our salvation, prosper us, for he is our God, the God of salvation. <coughs> Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, always now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. By your divine intercession, O Lord, as you raised up the paralytic of old, so raise up my soul, paralyzed by sins and thoughtless acts, so that being saved, I may sing to you, glory to your power, O compassionate Christ. You who at every sight, season and in every hour, in heaven and on earth, are worshipped and glorified, O Christ our God, who are long-suffering, merciful and compassionate, who love the just and show mercy upon the sinner, who call all to salvation through the promise of blessings to come, O Lord, in this hour, receive our supplications and direct our lives according to your commandments. Sanctify our souls, hallow our bodies, correct our thoughts, cleanse our minds. Deliver us from every tribulation, evil, and distress. Compass us about with your holy angels that, guided and guarded by them, we may attain to the unity of the faith and to the knowledge of your unapproachable glory. For you are blessed unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Shine, shine, O New Jerusalem, the glory of the Lord has shone on you. Exult now and be glad, O Zion. Be radiant, O pure Theotokos, in the resurrection of your Son. Through the 
In the name of the Lord, Father, bless. In the prayer of the Holy Father, Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. O God, the Master, Father Almighty, O Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son, and you, O Holy Spirit, one Godhead, one power, have mercy upon me, a sinner, and according to your divine judgment, save me, your unworthy servant. For blessed are you unto ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God, our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. Save me, O God, by your name, and vindicate me by your might. Hear my prayer, O God, give ear to the words of my mouth. For the insolent have risen against me, the ruthless seek my life. They do not set God before them. But surely God is my helper, the Lord is the upholder of my life. He will repay my enemies for their evil. In your faithfulness put an end to them. With a free will offering I will sacrifice to you. I will give thanks to your name, O Lord, for it is good. For he has delivered me from every trouble, and my eye has looked in triumph on my enemies. Give ear to my prayer, O God. Do not hide yourself from my supplication. Attend to me and answer me. I am troubled in my complaint. I am distraught by the noise of the enemy because of the clamor of the wicked. For they bring, bring trouble upon me, and in anger they cherish enmity against me. My heart is in anguish within me. The terrors of death have fallen upon me. Fear and trembling come upon me, and horror overwhelms me. And I say, oh, that I had wings like a dove. I would fly away and be at rest. Truly, I would fly far away. I would lodge in the wilderness. I would hurry to find a shelter for myself from the raging wind and tempest. Confuse, O oh Lord, confound their speech, for I see violence and strife in the city. Day and night they go around it on its walls, and iniquity and trouble are within it. Ruin is in its midst. Oppression and fraud do not depart from its marketplace. It is not enemies who taunt me. I could bear that. It is not adversaries who deal insolently with me. I could hide from them, but it is you, my equal, my companion, my familiar friend, with whom I kept pleasant company. We walked in the house of God with the throng. Let death come upon them. Let them go down to Sheol alive, for evil is in their homes and in their hearts. But I call upon God, and the Lord will save me. Evening and morning and at noon I utter my complaint and moan, and he will hear my voice. He will redeem me unharmed from the battle that I wage, for many are arrayed against me. God, who is enthroned from of old, will hear and will humble them, because they do not change and do not fear God. My companion laid hands on a friend and violated a covenant with me, with speech smoother than butter, but with a heart set on war, with words that were softer than oil, but in fact were drawn swords. Cast your burden on the Lord, and he will sustain you. He will never permit the righteous to be moved. But you, O God, will cast them down into the lowest pit. The bloodthirsty and treacherous shall not live out half their days, but I will trust in you. You who dwell in the shelter of the Most High, who abide in the shadow of the Almighty, will say to the Lord, My refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust, for he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and buckler. You will not fear the terror of night, or the arrow that flies by day, or the pestilence that stalks in darkness, or the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only look with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord your refuge, the most high your dwelling place. No evil shall befall you, no scourge come near your tent, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. On their hands they will bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the adder, the young lion and the serpent you will trample underfoot. Those who love me, I will deliver, I will protect those who know my name. When they call to me, I will answer them, I will be with them in trouble. I will rescue them and honor them. With long life, I will satisfy them and show them my salvation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. 
Hallelujah, 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 glory to you, O God. Hallelujah, 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 glory to you, O God. Hallelujah, 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 glory to you, O God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Let the heavens rejoice, let the earth be glad, for the Lord has shown strength with his arm. He has trampled down death by death, he has become the firstborn of the dead. He has delivered us from the depths of hell and has granted to the world great mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. As there is no boldness in us because of the multitude of our sins, O Virgin Theotokos, intercede with the Son whom you have borne. For the entreaty of a mother has great power to win the favor of the Master. Despise not, O all venerable lady, the prayers of us sinners, for he who took upon himself to suffer for our sake is merciful and strong to save. Let your tender mercies, O Lord, speedily go before us, for we have become exceedingly poor. Help us, O God, of our salvation for the glory of your name. O Lord, deliver us and purge away our sins for your name's sake. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, cleanse us from our sins, Master, pardon our transgressions. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. By your divine intercession, O Lord, as you raised up the paralytic of old, so raise up my soul paralyzed by sins and thoughtless acts, so that being saved I may sing to you glory to your power, O compassionate Christ. You who at every season and every hour in heaven and on earth are worshipped and glorified, O Christ our God, who are long-suffering, merciful, and compassionate, who love the just and show mercy upon the sinner, who call all to salvation through the promise of blessings to come. O Lord, in this hour receive our supplications and direct our lives according to your commandments. Sanctify our souls, hallow our bodies, correct our thoughts, cleanse our minds, deliver us from all tribulations, evil, and distress. Compass us about with your holy angels, that guided and guarded by them we may attain to the unity of the faith and to the knowledge of your unapproachable glory, for you are blessed unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Shine, shine, O New Jerusalem, the glory of the Lord has shone on you. Exalt now and be glad, O Zion. Be radiant, O pure Theotokos, in the resurrection of your Son. In the name of the Lord, Father, bless. Through the prayers of our fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ, mercy in us and save us. Amen. O God, the Lord of hosts, the author of all creation, who in your ineffable tender mercy has sent down your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, for the salvation of our kind and through his holy cross has torn up the handwriting of our sins and thereby triumphed over the princes and dominions of darkness. O Master, who love mankind, accept these prayers of thanksgiving and supplication even from us sinners and deliver us from every deadly and dark transgression and from all the visible and invisible enemies that seek to do us harm. Nail our flesh with the fear of you and let not our hearts incline to evil words or thoughts, but wound our souls with your love that ever gazing upon you guided by your light and beholding you, the eternal light that no man can approach, we may send up unceasing praises and thanks to you, the Father without beginning, together with your only begotten Son and your most holy, good, and life-creating Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. Restore us with grace, his head, his head, his neck of rope, his soul, she will grow, she will Christ is risen from the dead, 
and and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Let us peace of the whole world, for the welfare of the Holy Church is about for the union of all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house, for those who are in the with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, the attitude of the most blessed metropolitan teacher, on and for his eminence, most reverend Archbishop Eldrene, by the honorable priesthood, the diaconate, and Christ Father, clergy, and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this country, for our majesty, the queen, for the houses of parliament, for all civil authorities, and for the armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city, Village and municipality for every city and countryside and for the faithful dwelling in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peaceable weather, for the abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For God, by land, by sea, and by air, the sick and the suffering captives and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy. Uh, may be delivered from all affliction, wrath, danger, necessity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Memory of most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady Theopolkos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. Thank you, you, oh Lord. O oh Lord our God, whose power is incomparable, whose glory is incomprehensible, whose mercy is immeasurable, and whose love for mankind is inexpressible. Look down on us and on this holy house with pity, O Master, and impart the riches of your mercy and your compassion to us and to those who pray with us. For unto you is to all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Make a joyful noise to God, all the earth. Sing of his name, give glory to his praise. Through the prayers of the Theotokos, O Savior, save us. Say to God, how awesome are your deeds. So great is your power that your enemies cringe before you. Through the prayers of the Theotokos, O Savior, save us. Let all the earth worship you and praise you. Let it praise your name, O Most High. Through the prayers of that they are talk, O oh, Savior, save us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Through the prayers of that they are talk, O oh, Savior, save us. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O oh God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorate our most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let's commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. To you, O Lord. Lord of God, save your people and bless your inheritance. Preserve the fullness of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them in return by your divine power. And forsake us not to put our hope in you. For yours is the might and yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. 
God be bountiful to us and bless us. Show the light of your countenance upon us and have mercy on us. O Son of God who arose from the dead, save us who sing to you. Alleluia. That we may know your way upon the earth and your salvation among the nations. O Son of God who arose from the dead, save us who sing to you. Alleluia. Let the people give thanks to you, O God. Let all the people give thanks to you. O Son of God who arose from the dead, save us who sing to you. Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Only begotten Son, and immortal Word of God, who for our salvation will to be incarnate of the holy Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, who without change became man and were crucified, who are one of the holy Trinity, Glorified with the Father and the Holy Spirit, O Christ our God, trampling down death by death, save us. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, and mercy us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remember, dear, most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady Theopolis, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other, and all our life unto Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For you have given us grace to make our common united supplications unto you, and I promise that where two or three are gathered together in your name, you would grant a request. Fulfill no other the petitions every servant says may be expedient for them, granting us in this age and all other truth, and the age to come life everlasting. For you who are a good God, a lost mankind, and unto you we send of glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. In your kingdom, remember us, O Lord. When you come in your kingdom, blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. 
Blessed are you when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, Son of God, who rose from the dead, save us who see to you. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Let the heavens rejoice, let the earth be glad, for the Lord has shown strength with his arm. He has trampled down death by death, he has become the firstborn of the dead. He has delivered us from the depths of hell, and has granted to the world great mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. By your divine intercession, O Lord, as you raised up the paralytic of old, so raise up my soul paralyzed by sins and thoughtless acts, so that by being saved I may sing to you. Glory to your power, O compassionate Christ. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. You descended into the tomb, O immortal. You destroyed the power of death. In victory you arose, O Christ God. Proclaiming rejoice to the murmuring women, granting peace to your apostles and bestowing resurrection on the fallen. Through the prayers of Holy Father, the Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on us. Amen. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Sviate Bojo, Sviate Kripti, Sviate Besmerne Pomiloinas. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Slava tsui sinuis fiat homo luhu, in nini pris noi vo veki vikovamin. Sviate besmer ne pomiloinas, holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Blessed and peace be unto all, and to your spirit, wisdom. The Prokimenon. Let your mercy, O Lord, be upon us as we have set our hope on you. Let your mercy, O Lord, be upon us, as we have set our hope 
upon you. you. Rejoice in the Lord, all you righteous. Praise befits the just. Let your mercy, O Lord, Lord, be upon, be upon us, 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 as we as have we set have our, set our hope, hope on you. you. Let your mercy, O Lord, be upon us, as we have set, have our, set our hope, hope on, on you. Wisdom. The reading is from St. Paul's letter to the Acts. Let's attend. In those days, Peter, as he visited the saints everywhere, came down to see those who lived in Lydia, where he found a man named Anasius who had not left his bed for eight years, being a paralytic. And Peter said to him, Anasius, Jesus Christ cures thee. Rise up and make my bed, make thy bed. And he rose immediately. And all those who lived in Lydia and Sharon came to see him and were converted to the Lord. Now there was a disciple at Joppa, the only Jewish Mediterranean seaport called Tibeta, which means the same as the Giselle. She abounded in acts of charity and in alms seeds. And it so happened that at this time she fell sick and died. And they washed the body and laid her in the upper room. Since Lydia was close to Joppa, about 10 miles, the disciples, hearing that Peter was there, sent two men to find him, come to us, and they urged, urged him without delay. So Peter rose and went with them, and when they came there, they took him into the upper room where all the widows stood around him, weeping and sh showing him the gowns and Folks, which Giselle had made while she was among them. Peter sent them all out, knelt down and prayed. Then turning to the body, he said, Tabata, rise. And she opened her eyes and she looked at Peter and sat up at the bed. And he gave her to his hand and raised her to her feet. And calling in the saints and the widows, he presented her to them alive. Peace be to you, readers. And to your spirit. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. I will sing of your praises, O Lord, forever. With my mouth I will proclaim your truth. From generation to generation. For you have said, mercy will be established forever. My truth will be repaired in the heavens. to Matthew, love mankind with the pure light of your divine knowledge and open your eyes to our mind to your gospel teachings and plant also in the fear of your blessed commandments that trampling down our carnal desire we may enter upon a spiritual manner of living both thinking and doing such things well pleasing unto you for you are the illumination of our souls and bodies of Christ our God and unto you we send up glory together with your Father who is without beginning and you're all holy in life and in spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages Amen. Wisdom, stand upright, let us listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace be unto all. And to your spirit. Read from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. Let us attend. At that time there was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is in Jerusalem by the sheep gate a pool, 
which is called in Hebrew Bethesda, having five porches. And these lay a great march due to sick people, blind, lame, paralyzed, waiting for the moving of the water. For an angel went down at a certain time into the pool and stirred up the water. Then whoever stepped in first after the stirring of the water was made well of whatever disease he had. Now a certain man was there who had an infirmity for 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there and he knew that he had been there in that condition a long time, he said to him, do you want to be made well? The sick man answered, sir, I have no man to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up. But while I am coming, another steps down before me. Jesus said to him, Rise, take up your bed, and walk. And immediately the man was made well, took up his bed, and walked. And that day was a Sabbath. The Jews therefore said to him who was cured, It is the Sabbath. It is not lawful for you to carry the bed. He answered them, He who made me well said to me, Take up your bed, and walk. Then they asked him, Who is the man who said to you, Take up your bed and walk? But the one who was healed did not know it was Jesus, for he had withdrawn a multitude being in that place. Afterwards, Jesus found him in the temple and said to him, See, you have been made well. Sin no more, lest the worst thing come upon you. That man departed and told the Jews that it was Jesus who made him well. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. Christ is risen. Christos was Christos was Christi. Christos and Christ is risen. Indeed, he's risen. Um, Christ is risen. There is a, a condition that has certainly plagued humanity from the beginning, uh, the fall that is, uh, but has been magnified to absolutely astounding levels in the 20, 20th and 21st century. That as humans, men and women, we are somehow autonomous. We're invincible. We can do anything given the right amount of money, the right amount of time, and the positive disposition, that positive thinking, that we can even either cheat death or choose what is death and what is life, what we want and what we don't want. And we go through life with these blinders on thinking that we have it all and we can choose everything. And if there's anything this pandemic has sort of brought about us is a realization that we aren't invincible, that it doesn't matter if we're millionaires or we're young and healthy or we're old and we are, we are susceptible to something invisible to our eyes that can kill us. And we see, especially in North America, uh, the sense where we are like this paralytic, paralyzed. We're paralyzed to a certain extent financially, where many of those uh, that are around us aren't able to work or have had their incomes cut or know or are affected by people who aren't able to work. We're paralyzed socially unable, especially at this, on this day, a Mother's Day, unable to see the ones we love, uh, to be with them, unless they're in your own household. And we're also, to a certain extent, paralyzed spiritually. How do we reconcile something like this? Is God in this? How can God be in this? We're paralyzed insofar as we aren't even able to get to church and be with each other, to pray with each other to help and to hold each other. 
And what makes this paralysis that we go through even harder is because like the paralytic, we are right by the pool. We're right there. There's a source of healing that lies right around the corner, so to speak, within grasp. But it's out of reach for us. That we might have some sort of income assistance. Thank God we're in Canada where that is possible. But we still can't do the things we need to do. We can't necessarily change and go out and be able to you know, buy those groceries, get those needs and those supplies. And that we're so close to our families, where right? we can see them, thank God for, you know, media such as FaceTime or Zoom. But that's not being in the same room. Trust me, not being in the same room with either any of you is certainly something that is, you know, I'm very cognizant about. And yet you're so close. And that we can be so close spiritually to something that we can sit in front of our computers, thank God, or have our phones with us. And that be able to stream these services, be able to pray in front of our icon corners. And yet it seems so far away from being able to meet as a church. And it's a paralysis that can lead to despair. It's a paralysis that can lead to anxiety. It's a paralysis that can lead to absolute losing any hope. This man who had been paralyzed for 38 years, how many years had he been by that pool wanting to be healed? We've only had to deal with this a few months. But yet there's many of us that carry around the wounds, of those things that we have done or those things that have happened to us. We carry around heavy burdens of sin, heavy burdens of doubt, heavy burdens of regret and guilt. And despite being surrounded with so many good things, people who love us, people who care for us, a community, even the grace of the life in the church, we're so close but so far away from being able to take up our bed and walk. But as close as we are to the grace and mercy, to as close as we are to our families, as close as we are to leading a normal life but unable to be there, as close as that paralytic was to that pool, the Lord is even closer in our lives. He is there and he says to us, do you want to be made well? Do you want to be saved? Do you want to be made whole? Do you want to be able to stand up? Do you want to reign in love and mercy and grace? See, we can't do anything ourselves we can't we can't change the course of this pandemic beyond those things such as self-isolation and washing our hands wearing masks etc etc that we can't do anything beyond those small little things such as facetime and zoom to be with our families we can't do much beyond being able to tune into a service like this, or be able to read our scriptures and pray. It just sort of runs out of space. We're like that paralytic again, so close but so far away, unable to push ourselves into that pool, that when it's stirred, and yet the Lord says, be healed. See, the Lord is with us in this pandemic. The Lord is with us in every situation where we are weighed down by the sorrows of this world in this age. And that when we trust, when we look to him, when we hear his words, rise, take up your bed. 
But when we hear them, we know that the Lord is working to save us. And from the Psalms that we would read during Presanctified, you know, unless the Lord builds the house, those who labor build it in vain. Unless we allow the Lord to heal us, we give the Lord that which is broken, that which paralyzes our hearts, whether it be financial, whether it be physical, whether it be social, whether it be spiritual, unless we allow the Lord to act, the Lord could say anything to us and we wouldn't do it. So as close as we are to everything and as far away as we are from everything, we know that Christ is there who brings them together. And we pray and we pray and we pray that the Lord change our heart, that raise us up from despair, from sin, from anxiety, and that we might, instead of being so close to something, so close to something that heals, so close to something that brings life, we ourselves might bear witness to that life like Peter, who says to the paralytic, Jesus Christ heals you, who prays for Tabitha that, that the Lord heals her, that we might be that. But profound, beautiful things to think about. Not only that we can be healed, but we can bear witness to Christ's healing work. And as we make our way now towards Pentecost, it's, us for the, it's now the time for us to realize and see this and seize upon it that we are not autonomous, that we're not invincible, but we're not left to despair, we're not left to anxiety, we're not left as paralytics beside the pool, that the Lord has come to save us. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Christ is risen. Let us say with all our soul and with all our mind, let us say, O Lord, have mercy. O Lord Almighty, the God of our fathers, we pray, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy, we pray, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, have mercy. Again, we pray for his beatitude, most blessed metropolitan teeth on him, for his eminence, most reverend archbishop, Rene, for the priests, priest deacons, uh, deacons, and all other clergy, and all our brethren in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, have mercy. Again, we pray for this country, for our majesty, the queen, for the houses of parliament, for all civil authorities, and for the armed forces. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, have mercy. Again, we pray for the blessed and ever memorable Holy Orthodox Patriarchs and for the blessed and ever memorable founders of this Holy Church, especially the Metropolitan, the Auntie, the Metropolitan, Vladimir, the Archbishop, Parsani, the Archbishop, Yosef, the Archbishop, Dimitri, the Bishop, Antony, the Archimander, Alexander, the Porto Presbyter, Alexander, the Porto Presbyter, Thomas, the Porto Presbyter, John, the Archbishop, Jacob, the Priest, Nicola, the Hyman, Seraph, and Matuska, Olga, Velasco, Matuska, Susan, Roman, and Anna, Dimitri, and Fia. And for all the Orthodox who part this life before us, especially the newly departed Archpriest Paul and Natalia, all our departed mothers and grandmothers and spiritual mothers, the middle, um, new martyrs of new Middle East, North Africa, and Asia, the departed missing indigenous girls and women, the departed victims of violence and conflict, especially the constable Heidi and those in Nova Scotia, the departed victims of the COVID-19 virus, 
who here in another world lies sleeping, O Lord. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, have mercy. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, and visitation with the servants of God, the faithful, our holy house, and all of those we have in our hearts at the time, especially all our mothers and grandmothers and spiritual mothers, and the monks, Seraphim, the patriarchs of Constantinople, Moscow, and the people of Ukraine, the archpriest Robert Steve Matryoshka, Diane, the family, the priest Rome and Matryoshka, Olga, and the family, the nun Magdalene, the subdeacon Roger, Roseanne, Terry, and Brenda, Clifford, and Diane, Donna, Samara, and her family, Weston, Leah and Samuel, Howard and Esther, Ramia, George, Todd and Ruth and their family, the Rita Wesley, Isaac and Inga and the child to be born of her, Roland, Joseph and his family, Joel and her family, the catechumens, Raymond, Natalie, Nicholas, Julia, Joshua, Grant and Maggie, Mission Station of Christ the Savior and Winkler, those suffering from the COVID-19 virus, especially the monks of Pachaya and Pacheska monasteries, all our healthcare professionals and those caring for the sick, all those separated from their loved ones, all those who have been affect, whose lives have been affected by this virus, the missing indigenous women and girls and all those suffering violence and exploitation, especially those in Nova Scotia, the suffering peoples of the Middle East, North Africa and Asia, especially those in Syria, and for the pardon and remission of their sins. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, have mercy. O Lord our God, look down with merciful eyes on our humble and earnest petitions which we fervently offer you today on behalf of all our mothers. Shower your heavenly graces on them. Grant that they may always behold the joy of their children and their children's children. Fill them with maternal love, that our most holy lady, the birth giver of God and ever Virgin Mary, show to your only begotten Son, our Lord and Jesus, Savior Jesus Christ. Grant that all our mothers may be ever an image of our heavenly mother, the most pure Virgin Mary. We pray you, heavenly master, on this Mother's Day to graciously hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, have mercy. O eternal God and merciful Father, we ask you to hear the voice of our supplication, which we uh, which your humble and lowly servants offer this day on behalf of all our mothers. Grant your guidance and wisdom to our young mothers. Reassure and inspire our mothers in the prime of their life, endowing them with spiritual joy. Comfort and sustain our elderly mothers. Look kindly upon our mothers whom you have called into your heavenly kingdom. Kindle within our hearts the burning love and faithful devotion that your only begotten Son, our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, show to his most holy mother, the most pure Virgin Mary. We pray you, O Heavenly Father, on this Mother's Day, to accept our prayers and graciously hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy. Again, we pray for those who bring offerings and do good works in your holy and venerable house, for those who labor and those who sing, and for all the people who are present to await your great and rich mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy. For you are merciful, God, who loves mankind, and unto you we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. 
O God Almighty, Lord of heaven and earth and of all creation, visible and invisible, in your ineffable goodness, look down upon your people gathered in your name. Be your helper and defender on this day of affliction. You know our weaknesses. You'll hear our crying, repentance, and contrition of heart. O Lord, who loves mankind, deliver us from the impending threat of the coronavirus. Send your angel to watch over us and protect us. Grant health and recover to the suffering from the, those suffering from this virus. Guide the hands of the physicians and preserve those who are healthy that we may continue to serve you in peace and glorify your most honorable and majestic name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Pray to the Lord, you catechumens. Lord, have mercy. Let us the faithful pray for the catechumens of the Lord. May have mercy on them. Lord, have mercy. That he may teach them the word of truth. Lord, have mercy. That he may reveal to them the gospel of righteousness. Lord, have mercy. That he may unite them to his holy Catholic and apostolic church. Lord, have mercy. Save them and mercy and let me help them and keep them, O oh God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Bow your heads unto the Lord, you catechumens. To you, O Lord. O Lord God, who was on high in regards to the things below, and has set forth as the salvation of the race of men, your only begotten Son, and God our Lord Jesus Christ, look down upon your servants, the catechumens, who bowed their necks before you and make them worthy in due time of the laver and washing of regeneration and remission of sins, a robe of incorruption, unite them to the holy Catholic and apostolic church and number them with your chosen flock, that with us may also glorify your own honorable and majestic name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Remember us, O Lord, when you come in your kingdom. Remember us, O Master, when you come in your kingdom. Remember us, O Holy One, when you come in your kingdom. The heavenly choir sings to you and cries, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Come unto him and be enlightened, and your faces shall not be ashamed. The heavenly choir sings to you and cries, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. The choir of holy angels and archangels with all the powers of heaven sing your praises and cry, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten not made, of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. And he was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, and suffered and was buried. And the third day he rose again, according to the scriptures, and ascended into heaven, and sits at the right hand of the Father. And he shall come again with glory to judge the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets. In one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church, I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. O oh God, oh. remit pardon and forgive our sins, whether voluntary or involuntary, whether by work, deed, 
thought, and whether in ignorance or in knowledge, whether by day or not, whether by mind or thought, forgive us all these for your good and love mankind, and make us worthy of master that we dare, with boldness we dare to call upon you, the heavenly God as Father, and to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, mighty one in essence, kingdom undivided, our origin of all good things, be gracious, inclined also to me, a sinner. Establish me, give me understanding to my heart, and purge away all my vileness. Enlighten my mind that I may glorify, and sing your praises, and adore you, and say, One is holy, one is the Lord Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord, henceforth and forevermore. Blessed be the name of the Lord, henceforth and forevermore. Blessed be the name of the Lord, henceforth and forevermore. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul makes its boast in the Lord. Let the humble hear and be glad. O oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. Look to him and be radiant, so your faces shall never be ashamed. This poor soul cried and was heard by the Lord, and was saved from every trouble. The angel of the Lord encamps round those who fear him, and delivers them. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Happy are those who take refuge in him. O oh, fear the Lord, you his holy ones, for those who fear him have no want. The young lions suffer want and hunger, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. Come, old children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Which of you desires life and covets many days to enjoy good? Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking deceit. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous and his ears are open to their cry. The face of the Lord is against evil doers to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. When the righteous cry for help, the Lord hears and rescues them from all their troubles. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves the crushed in spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord rescues them from them all. He keeps all their bones, not one of them will be broken. Evil brings death to the wicked, and those who hate the righteous will be condemned. The Lord redeems the life of his servants. None of those who take refuge in him will be condemned. <laughs> The angel cry to the lady full of grace, rejoice, rejoice, O pure virgin. Again I say rejoice, your son is risen from his three days in the tomb. 
who with himself he has raised all the dead. Rejoice, rejoice, O ye people. Shine, 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 O new Jerusalem, the glory of the Lord has shone. It's of now it's old, and be glad, O Zion, be radiant, O pure Theotokos, in the resurrection, the resurrection of your Son. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing light. Christos, Christos was crucified, Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death. And upon those in the tombs bestowing life. May he is risen from the dead, Christ which God through the prayers of his most pure mother, the Holy Ghost, a lot of apostles of St. Nicholas, Archbishop of Mayan Lisa, the wonder worker of St. Simon the Sela, uh, who we commemorate today, along with St. Amgal of Bangor, of the holy righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us. Praise good and love mankind. Amen. Let God arise, let his enemies be scattered. Today a sacred Pascha is revealed to us, a new and holy Pascha, a mystical Pascha, a Pascha worthy of veneration, a Pascha which is Christ the Redeemer, a blameless Pascha, a great Pascha. A Pascha of the faithful, a Pascha which has opened for us the gates of paradise, a Pascha which sanctifies all the faithful. As smoke vanishes, so let them vanish. Come from that scene, O women bearers of glad tidings, and say to Zion, Receive from us the glad tidings of joy of Christ's resurrection. Exalt and be glad, and rejoice, O Jerusalem, seeing Christ the King who comes forth from the tomb like a bridegroom in procession. So the sinners will perish before the face of God, but let the righteous be glad. The murmuring women at the break of dawn drew new to the tomb of the life giver. There they found an angel sitting upon the stone. He greeted them with these words. Why do you seek the living among the dead? Why do you mourn the incorrupt amid corruption? Go proclaim the glad tidings to his disciples. This is the day which the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Pascha of beauty, the Pascha of the Lord. A Pascha worthy of all honor has dawned for us. Pascha, 
Let us embrace each other joyously. Ask a ransom from affliction, for today is from a bridal chamber. Christ has shone forth from the tomb and filled the women with joy, saying, Proclaim the glad tidings to the apostles. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. This is the day of resurrection. Let us be illumined by the feast. Let us embrace each other. Let us call brothers and sisters, even those that hate us and forgive all by the resurrection. And so let us cry, Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. And unto us he has given eternal life. Let us worship his resurrection on the third day. Christ is risen. Christos Christ is risen. Christos is risen. Christos is risen. Christos is risen. Christ is risen. It's a test for the family. Um, uh, just a few announcements.